This is just a short disclaimer that you're going to need to be following part one of this tutorial, which is linked down below in the description. And if you haven't, this will not work. So make sure you watch part one of the tutorial. And then when you're done with that, come back here. Hello and welcome back to another Roblox tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make promote and demote commands inside of your Roblox game. First of all, you're going to need to go to the link in the description. It will take you to a page that looks like this. Then what you need to do is you need to click on the blue text and that should prompt a download. Then what you need to do is you need to open it inside of Roblox Studio. So to do this, go to your downloads folder and double click on the Roblox place folder. Now I'm going to give it some time to download or to open it. And now that it's opened, I can start to edit the main components of the system. So for this what I'm going to need to be able to see is I'm going to need to be able to see the Explorer tab and the Properties tab. So you can go to View, then Explore and Properties. And we're now going to do the first initial part of this. So to make sure everything works, you need to publish the game. I'm just going to call it Promote and Demote Commands. And then I'm going to create the place wait for it to load and then to make sure that this works if it is not on green make sure just HTTP make sure that it is TP definitely set to green and the slider is so on the right this, hand side game settings. otherwise this will not go work under permissions. any circumstances and then down to security and then make sure allow http requests is enabled explore we have these new folders and make sure that the notify remote event is inside of replicated storage and that the promote the milk commands are inside service script service and the started UI has notify module inside of it. If it's not like that just make sure it is and now the only bit we need to worry about is the script that says manager. So if we press this drop down you can see we have some of these values and you can see that the value is actually blank. So you can see that there's nothing filled and now what we need to do is we need to fill that with our data so i'm gonna do this with my roblox group so i'm going to go to roblox.com and then once i'm at roblox.com i'm going to go to my groups i am going to click on the sandwich bar and go to groups and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my group id for those that don't know what a group ID is, there is a number right in between this slash and this slash and all you need to do is copy this number, just the number and nothing else and then go to the studio, click on the group ID and for value paste in your group ID. Make sure there are no spaces in front of it or spaces behind so it's just the number and no spaces Then press enter and now you've got the group id set now what we're going to do is we're going to make a minimum rank so we're going to go back to our browser and we're going to get our minimum rank the reason we're adding a minimum rank is to stop people who are not admin from promoting others in the game so this means only if you have the certain rank in this group you'll be able to promote so for example players can't promote but moderators can so we're going to set it that you must be a moderator plus to be able to use the admin commands. So we're going to go to these three dots, then configure group. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to members. And you can see that we have my bot here. Make sure your bot is in, but you should have done that in part one of the tutorial. And if you go down to roles, you'll be able to see the roles. So you can see we have our player rank, which is a player rank of 1, but you see our moderator rank is 2. 
This means that roles that are above the trust permission to can use the demote and promote commands. But the player cannot use the promote and demote commands because their rank is not above one. So I'm just going to copy the um, rank ID for moderator. So copy. And then inside of the min rank, that is short for minimum rank, we are going to see the value. Uh, we're going to click inside the value and we're going to paste it in. Once again, make sure it is only the number, no sh um, no spaces or anything else. Otherwise, it will not work once again. And we're going to enter. And now we've got our group ID and minimum rank down. So, so far, so good. So what we're going to do is we're going to now get to the server part of things. Okay, so you should have remembered from part one that we used a website called GitHub and we used a website from Heroku.com. So make sure you're both at these websites. And first we're gonna go to GitHub and we're gonna go to the repos repository that we made. So you should remember the .env file you made and you see this API key you made where you randomly smashed the letters on your keyboard copy your API key and only your API key. So copy the string after the equal symbol. Then go back to Roblox Studio, go to your API key and go to value and paste it in. Make sure there are no spaces or any of that stuff. Otherwise, once again, it won't work. So, and then press enter and now it's saved. So the final thing we need to add so to add the app URL, go back to your browser, go to your Heroku. This is my project I made. You're going to click on it. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click go to your settings, click on that, then scroll down. And you'll see under the domains, it says your app can be found at and then a link. Copy this link. And make sure you contain the slash at the end go back to roblox studio go to ap uh, app url and then side value paste in for this make sure there are no spaces or any hidden characters and then press enter and you've set everything up so now what i'm going to show you what it looks like inside of roblox okay so welcome to inside of roblox I'm now actually going to show you how to use these commands with my alt account here and hopefully after this your commands should be working and everything sh everything should be good. So our promote feature actually has an autofill command. So for example, this person's name is simple alt account test. Okay? Uh, remember to get their username and not their display name. Their username is the string after the at symbol. And I can put their first letter of their name for short to save time. And since there's a capital S, I only need to put a capital S. But if there was someone else with a capital S, for example, if their name was Sam with a capital S, I would have to put SI because Sam and simple have different second letter. So, for example, this means they were to both be called S, and I put an S, they would either both be promoted, or it wouldn't work, or it would do only one of them. So, hopefully you're aware of that. And now, I'm going to demonstrate how to use this command. So, I'm going to say promote, like this. And then, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to type in the beginning of their name, so S, and now... You see a little notification comes up and it says hurrah we promoted the user now if we go to the roblox group we can see that they have been promoted to moderator and now for example if i were to say promote again let's say attempting and then hurrah and now if we refresh the page or just go back to that tab you can see they've become an admin and now I'm going to demote them. So I'm going to say demote S. And then I'll say tempting. 
and now you can see that they become a moderator and then I'll demote them again and they'll become a player. So now you can see that they have become a moderator once my slow internet will finally load in. And you can see it says moderator and now if I demote one last time it's attempting it says hurrah and now you can see that the user has become a player and that's all you need to know hopefully you learned something new today if you had any problems or need any help with today's tutorial just head over to our forms link in the description and make a scripting support post that's all for now and bye bye from me <laughs>